everybody and welcome back to my channel. Apologies first of all about the lighting. I know it's not great. I'm at my mum's and or my mum and dad's as well. Um and um I'm in front of the Christmas tree. It's gonna be a Christmassy haul video, um, but yeah. So I did a boots order. I got a gift card from my workplace and I purchased a few things with that gift card and I ordered a few bits so I thought I would do a little haul showing you the things that I picked up. I picked up 11 items for £50 and I think I've got some good stuff and there's reasons behind everything. I wanted to get stuff that I needed not stuff that I just thought yeah let's get that. And when I say needed I mean sort of like I wanted it anyway and I would have purchased it anyway. I first will have this so this is the Garnier Nutrice permanent hair colour and this one is in the shade number three darkest brown every like you know probably like once every six months I tend to dye my hair a bit darker and then it kind of lightens itself up to like a lighter brown um kind of like medium to light brown and I just like to go like darker coloured so I picked that up and I'll put that on my hair. I also picked up this sponge, which is just a real technique sponge. This is for applying my makeup. I love this, um, these for applying makeup. This will probably be like my seventh one or something. Real technique sponges, if you don't use them and you just use brushes and you find that your makeup can be a little bit streaky, go out and use these because genuinely, this literally amazed me the first time I used one of these a few years ago and it just makes your makeup like apply so much more evenly and it just looks a lot more blended and nice and I like it. I also picked up this Makeup Obsession Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. This is literally like a pomade. I literally just read it out. Um, it is like um, a little part, you dip a brush into it and I will draw on my eyebrows. And I just wanted to use this. I haven't used one of these in ages and I feel like you can get too much pigment on. So like you can dip your brush in these and it's too pigmented and your eyebrows can look quite dark, which I have unfortunately done quite a lot in the past. But I'm just gonna do a little, a little dib dab of this and try and not make my eyebrows too dark. I then, I will also do a makeup look in 2022, at the beginning of 2022, showing you like using this product. But this is just a little haul, just a little video. This is the Sleek Face Form Bronzer and it's in the shade literally. So in the shade literally, um, 1370. And it looks like this. So it's just like a brown shade um, like this. And I just wanted a new bronzer. One that was different to my current one, which I have from the collection. So again, this was something that I didn't need, but something that I would have purchased anyway if I didn't have the gift voucher from my workplace. And yeah, I'm excited to try that. I then got this spray from So. This is the um, Strawberries and Cream Body Mist from So. And I just needed a body mist. I'm really low on my current body mist, which is a Satsuma one from the body shop. So I just pay this little guy up and let's give him a smell. Mmm, nice. Then I got this, which is a foundation. I have literally I have this so many times this is probably my sixth bottle but this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation i switch between between two foundations i either get this one or the maybelline 24 hour um sort of super stay foundation thing i can't remember the name this one's a little bit more lighter coverage i would say it's like more of a medium coverage whereas the maybelline one is a lot more full coverage at the minute i'm using the maybelline one but i just wanted to switch back to this one because swapping and changing just means that you appreciate the foundations for what they are a little bit more you don't kind of get used to it and i think sometimes especially with products and with foundations in particular you can get kind of used to the products this one is the matte one they do have a dewy one so if you've got like matte or dry skin the dewy one might be more for you than this one i love this it blends nicely it's not cakey it layers up really well and it is a great foundation for a really affordable price less than five pounds would recommend i then have this mascara which i've never tried before this is the maybelline great lash big mascara and it's in the shade blackest black and i love the color of the packaging like that is a nice kind of neon vibe um and the applicator is quite large actually i haven't used any of these products yet because i literally just got this package today i was literally wandering around my entire house my entire garden which took me probably about 25 minutes and i was like 
somebody had stolen my package, Royal Mail. And it turns out it was next door, but we'll forget about that. So yeah, got a mascara. I haven't tried it, I'll let you know how I get along with it. My current mascara has lasted me a while, but I think it's time for a change. So I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. I then also got a concealer, which I have had before. This is the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal. This has got um, caffeine in it, apparently. So it's it's meant to make you look like you're awake. Um, not sure how that exactly works, but it's in the marketing of this product. I like this. It does actually have a really big applicator on it, which means like a doe foot applicator, which means that I just feel like it's easy to dis like disperse product. I'll try and show you because it's still in its like wrapper. Um, this one's in the shade number four by the way if you're wondering yeah but this is how big the doe foot is so it's like a product that i would put under my eyes on my chin cupid's bone nose and forehead and yeah i love this it's a great concealer it can be a little bit cakey but it is generally quite nice so yeah i would recommend if you are looking for a concealer then I picked up this. This is an eyeliner from Sleek. It's a 48 hour eyeliner. Now I won't be keeping this on for 48 hours, hopefully, but good to know. Um, I don't know what shade it's in, but, oh no, it's in the shade black, which is good, because that's what I wanted. Um, and it's just like a little kind of winged eyeliner thing. And um, I haven't had like a liquid liner bef uh, like in ages basically and it's so much easier to use I've got a pomade at the minute like a gel pomade where you can like draw on the wing and it's just nowhere near as easy as a liquid so I picked this up I do like doing winged eyeliner and I haven't really done it in ages because I find it difficult to do with the current product that I've got so I have to see if this is any easier and if it does last me all day or not last two products so we have this this is the dove care and visible glow it is a self tan lotion it's in the shade medium to dark now i like gradual tanners rather than instant tanners i find that they're a lot more natural they also don't kind of get on everything like all your clothes or everything and they're less patchy and they come on gradually so it is just it is just more natural and I just like that and I find that this one works really well for me so I picked some of this up it's also moisturizing at the same time and I got this so this is the Garnier ultimate blends body soothing hydrating lotion and it's um, the delicate oats so it's got oat milk and white almond cream in it and it's for dry and sensitive skin this is a big bottle now I think I had this as a hair mask and the smell of this was one of my favorite smells ever like genuinely i was obsessed with the smell of this in a hair mask and that's why i picked this up as a body lotion i don't really use body lotions but i really should a lot more like use them because does that make any sense i really should a lot more use them i really should use them a lot more because they're good um they're good to keep moisturizing your body and it will make you smell like generally nicer so i don't know why i don't do that so i might use this tonight actually because i'm gonna have a bath but yeah pick this little guy up it's a great smell it really is but yeah that is everything that i picked up from boots i just wanted this to be like a really quick video no makeup on either in the new year i am gonna make a lot more effort guys just as we're getting approaching to christmas i just don't really care about my background anymore but i think the christmas tree is cute but yeah that's my little boots haul i hope you enjoyed it um my favorite things don't know yet because i need to try everything but i am excited to use this little body lotion tonight and also to dye my hair soon but yeah thank you for watching please subscribe i've got loads more videos planned throughout 2022 and even the rest of this year and uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you in my next video goodbye bye